Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to <coughs> it's either day, it's between day 26 and day 28. I'm not, I'm not sure which one it is, but the third film in this final week of my favourite horror films and 1958's Dracula, or as he called it in America, the horror of Dracula, to not be confused with Bella Lugosi's I Am Dracula. Not sure why anybody would when they're almost 30 years apart, but never mind. <coughs> the story is Dracula, starring, it just says Peter Cushing in Dracula. And Christopher Lee's right at the bottom, Michael Goff, Christopher Lee, Peter Cushing. Peter Cushing's Van Helsing, and Christopher Lee is Dracula, who he'd play, I don't know, half a dozen times or more. And you know the story of Dracula, it's been told enough. This one's a little different. Jonathan Harker goes to Castle Dracula in the guise of a librarian to catalogue the Count's library. Of course, he's there to kill the Count. One thing leads to another, and he gets bitten. Van Helsing comes in to look for his friend Jonathan and eventually try and kill Dracula. And I have always liked this. I go back and forth as to which I prefer. It's do I prefer Dracula or do I prefer Dracula Prince of Darkness from 1964 or 5? But Chris Lee doesn't speak in that. There's two stories as to why, which we can go into. But that's the one I saw first. And then I watched this one and I thought... This isn't quite how the story of Dracula goes, but it's close enough, and which it is close enough. Uh, it is very tame by today's standards, um, but they're both they're both wonderful. Um, Chris Lee and Peter Cushing are wonderful. Um, the one thing about Hammer, especially early Hammer, well, all Hammer really, but especially the. Especially the the films that required a castle or big stately homes. Yeah, we'll go with that. The set design was on point. The set design was amazing. The costumes were always amazing. And the blood was a deep red, proper red. That's probably too red for blood. But I imagine when 1958, no one sat there thinking... Hmm, well, that doesn't look like real blood. I'm leaving now. I'm going. You just you just went with it back in the day. So, visually, it's on point. Love. I like Dracula's Castle more in Prince of Darkness than I do in this. But, and the surrounding area in that more than in this. But everything's on point. The music is big, it's bold. It builds up the tension. And towards the end, Dracula and Van Helsing have a fight. I wonder how much fun these two friends had in doing that. But a great film which I've always enjoyed. I remember buying this and it coming through the post. It's got three, two versions. Which I can't quite see. It's got a, a 2007 restoration from the BFI and a Hammer 2012 restoration. One, I think a little bit different maybe at the end. But I've watched them and I don't know what the difference is because I'm not, I don't notice things like that. But it's a phenomenal film. I love it. But I imagine most people have already seen it. And just off topic as well, I like that film right there, The Brides of Dracula. That's the second one. It doesn't have Christopher Lee, but it has Van Helsing in it. So that's where it went. I've been looking for that for a while. Anyway, Dracula or the horror of Dracula, good film, comments are welcome.